Okay, so it is currently, um, I think it's somewhere between 9 and 10 in the morning on Friday, uh, getting ready to catch the trains, many trains, <laughs> to head down to Ta Tawin, Tawin, I, f I forget how to pronounce the place so many times, to head to the Tallyclin Railway for the Audrey Extravaganza. Two. Uh, going to be meeting up with a couple of friends uh, in person for the first time. I met them over Steam posting. Going to be meeting them in person for the first time and we're going to travel down to the Tallyclin Railway together uh, for this event. Very much looking forward to this. <laughs> So my first train of the day was going to Manchester and despite the damp weather I was still in good spirits. Right up until a family joined the train with their baby that whined for the entire journey. Eventually I made it to Manchester where I met the first of my friends, Robin and Harry. These two have also done vlogs of the weekend on their YouTube channels. Harry on his Star Wars and movie review based channel, Django Fett 220, and Robin on his newly made channel, Mechanical Shed. There's a long story behind that in joke, trust me. <laughs> he also voiced his opinions on Series 6 in my review at the start of this year under the name Joseph. Link to both their channels in the description. Our next train went to Shrewsbury, which, fun fact for you all, was where I was born. I tried to get a decent shot of Manchester as we left the station, but... <laughs> I start recording right as we go past a rubbish dump. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Manchester. A pile of shit. That's Manchester boy, isn't it? <laughs> On our way, the last of our group joined the train at Crewe, Jack. He has a channel that he used to make a special episode order of Thomas and Friends, The Audrey Cut, organising the Audrey stories in the first four series of the show into their railway series chronological order. He also provided this lovely painting of Duck's perspective in the ending shot of All at Sea, which you may have seen this at the very end of my video talking about this episode. We made it to Shrewsbury on what was admittedly a very crowded and uncomfortable train, and after a short wait, we were on one more train on our way to Tawin, right through the beautiful countryside. So here we are, the we've made it. We've made it to the Tallyclin Railway. I can finally pronounce the name Tawin. <laughs> got Dolgok there, hopefully we'll be able to see her there. I wish I was more eccentric with the camera. <laughs> this is why I don't do live shit. This is why I, this is why I always have to have a script, because I'm terrible when it comes to improv. Well, it's Headmaster Hastings. <laughs> <laughs> After getting some food for the night, we walked to our accommodation. Thankfully the weather there was much better than what we had that morning, but fucking hell it was hot. Like, walking to our accommodation was exhausting. But, there was one hell of an unexpected reward at the end. Climb up here was hell, but definitely worth it, would it? Cheers! Yeah. Please tell me it's still there. It's still there. Oh, look, it's just going, it's just going behind these trees, but then it's going to come out 
directly below that white house. Hang on, I'm Look, there he is. The hey, I see it. There she is. Look at that. We just caught we just caught an engine on the Tallinn Railway from the view of the house we're staying in. Can barely see it. Oh, I've got I've got it zoomed in, I and I can it. actually see it really well. I see yeah, it. we can hear coach. it. A few that, we heard there it is! That. Hey! We heard that. That's our first in-person sighting of any Tanglin locomotive. That that was a lucky find by me, thank you very much. Yes, well done, you, Harry. Harry. I was like, what's <laughs> oh, really? that? Look, right, are we gonna see it come out the other side though? Let's have a look. Right, keep it. Yeah, look there it. Yeah. Oh wow. Would you look at that, eh? Tallaghlin Railway oh, from I our wish, accommodation place. I know, I wish we brought some binoculars. That would be oh. fantastic. That is just brilliant to catch on camera. Oh yeah. There it goes hey. again. Hey. <laughs> We're like white people every time the plane lands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. No, no, British people every time. And I think Jack just fell over by the sounds yeah. of things. One too many beers. It's that Welsh beer. <laughs> Special. Beer. Right, so at least we know where it is. Yeah. Okay, so day two. Uh, we're all getting ready for the day. I'm still in my Jeff Jams. <laughs> yeah, Harry's still in his PJs. I am vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're all looking forward to it. I, I was until I got stung on the big toe by a wasp. A dead wasp. A, de a, a dead wasp. Uh. <laughs> uh, but hopefully it should uh, clear up by the time uh, we need to. Uh, so after the weather's looking a little bit misty, seems Dulgok may actually have to pull a gallant old engine to get us to the picnic. <laughs> but yeah, very much looking forward to this. There it is, everybody. Ain't that a spectacular sight? Less than a less than half a mile away from it. Cannot wait to get there. Look at that slate wagon. We made it. It's here. Here it is. Oh, is that, what is it actually slate that's in it? Yeah, real Welsh slate. Oh, that's fantastic. There it is. The Audrey Extravaganza. Words cannot describe how excited I am to be here. At long last, we are here. My heart, all made it. All my heart, heart. beauty. Two of them are there. Uh, Jack is just going to the gun there. Oh, here. Exactly. We're all here. We're finally oh. at the target Ga railway. Guys, my, 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 heart rate is my heart rate is actually increasing. Oh. This is brilliant. He's got his face on! So, the first event of that day was the picnic train, a train that would take us from the first station at Tawin Wharf near the sea to Dolgok in the mountains, where we would have some lunch. But that wasn't until later on in the day, so to pass the time, we had a look around the station's museum, explaining how the railway was originally used to transport slate from the mine in the hills at Bryn Igluis down to Tawin and how it became the world's first preserved railway. Upstairs, however, there was something very special. 
another display of fan-made models like the one we saw in the beer tent outside, and a Railway Series and Thomas the Tank Engine display. Filled with high-quality Railway Series illustrations, concept art of the TV series complete with a Series 5 replica of Scarlowy next to a model of Talaclin, a build of Wilbert Audrey's office and his miniature railway, and so much more, with Mike and Junior's original music for the show playing over them. It was an absolute delight to be in that room. So I probably should sort of expose that. There's the track there. There's the tr track of uh, the train that we uh, arrived in Tawin yesterday on. And, the, and it's right next to the Talaclin Railway itself. Very practical. But it, it, meant that we were, it meant that we spotted the Talaclin Railway as we arrived and we got dead excited for the next day. And now we're here. I'm, I met the unlucky tug, and he recognised me. He, he, on the unlucky tug, recognised me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so excited about that. I want to be able to tell him, you know, how he basically like inspired my channel revamp. But yeah, I should get another chance to do that. Hopefully. Then, before we knew it, it was time for the picnic train. Not far off now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no better way to see it, is there? Yeah. Which is brilliant. So yes, we'll begin again soon. <laughs> and what will become of our electric cameras then? <laughs> For sheltered. Wow. So yeah, we're about the part where we are where we can see from our accommodation. And this is just it's a mix of farms really, but this railway just travels through it. Yeah. Oh, the water tower. Yeah, we've already missed it. So we just arrived at Dolgoch here. There's more people waiting, but look at that site, Dolgoch. Yeah, so. Oh, not, not bad at all, is it? We just look at the train and the line. We'll get some shots later on when we've finished yeah. of the rest of the train. We've made it to. Um, Abergenauen. Ab Abergenauen. Where, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is where we have. This is the picnic train. We've made, we, we made it to where we're meant to be, and just to bar in the view for about 45 minutes, then we're on our way again. <laughs> hey guys, look! It's Fred, the most memorable character in the railway series. Yep, and not only that, I'm not sure if you can see it, he's an Autobot. Probably the most interesting thing that's ever been done with this character. We hung around the railway for a little while longer as the next and last event of the day was the lecture train. We're about to head down to the... Oh, I think we're just heading, we're heading off now, actually. Have, a special right, we are have we got two engines? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. We'll have to check when we get off of yeah, the station. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. But no, we're heading off to the last event of the day, yeah. the lecture. Lecture time. I think, I think that is Fred in front. We are yeah. being pulled by Fred. Fred, the most recent one. Yeah, I've been pulled by Fred. Doug is at the back. Yeah. It's a double. Two engines, a double header. Double header. I want to check, but we're about to go to the bridge. So once we're to the bridge, I'll point the camera at the back and have a look. And then I'll find out front again. I won't be filming. On the bridge! Oh. <laughs> Come back out. That's spooky! <laughs> the lecture was held in the New uh, Pendre Centre, presented by TV presenter Tim Dunn and planned by the Audrey Extravaganza organiser Luke Ryan. The lecture presented notes written by Wilbert Audrey whilst he was working on the books, containing bits of information we never knew about the history of Sodor. 
The audience even got to ask questions to Wilbert Audrey's daughter, Veronica, who also attended the lecture. Hello everybody, sorry about the messy setup here. I recently just, well my family and I, recently just moved into our new house, so everything's a bit crammed at the moment, uh, but I'm still, able to, I'm still able to work on videos. So, I wanted to put this section in as a sort of unscripted bit. I know I'm terrible at unscripted bits, but basically, at the lecture, there was an auction. Uh, there was an auction to, find, to to get to rare one of a kind uh, railway series items. One of those item, one of those items, was uh, a first edition book of Oliver the Western Engine, and I thought I'd auction for it, and I won it. I won it for seventy quid, which went straight to supporting the Tallyclin <laughs> the Tallyclin Railway. Sorry for the <laughs> stuttering. So obviously it went to a good cause, but yeah. I've held it in this envelope since the event uh, back in uh, back towards the end of July. Uh, I've not opened it yet, and I want to. I just want to open it very carefully. So, got myself some gloves, and we're going to look inside. Okay, gloves are on. I know these are not the most ideal gloves for dealing with rare items such as these, uh, but it's the only thing I can work with right now. So yeah, there's the logo for the Teleclin Railway. There's the writing, it says Oliver, first edition, Luke Carruthers, £70 pay. So I definitely did pay 70 quid for this. And now we look inside. The book is definitely in there. Just got to carefully pull it out. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice one. I really am holding an ancient bit of history here, everybody. The Railway Series number 24, Oliver, the Western Engine. You can see it right there. It's got the markings on it. You can easily also see the writing on the back of it, recommending, I think, is it is it other books it's recommending? Oh, it's, what, what are these? Oh, another series for you. Um, the Anton B books by Angela Banner. Sorry, I've never heard of them. But yeah, they're, they're recommended on the back of this book, for those of you interested. You can see the writing, Oliver the, Oliver the Western Engine by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey with illustrations by Gunver and Peter Edwards. Yeah. What an item that this is to have, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy with this. I'm very happy that I auctioned for this. Okay, so it's currently, what time is it? Seven minutes past ten. Seven minutes past ten in the morning. Uh, yesterday kind of knackered us all out. <laughs> uh, but we are awake to try and see if we can spot a train that's going to be heading through here any moment. It's going to be a double header with Stuart and Sir Hayden. I mean, it better be. <laughs> Luke Ryan promised us last night. Yeah, he, 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 yeah, he promised us. I don't know if the... I know the camera wasn't recording during the Q and A, wasn't it? No, I didn't know. No, no. it wasn't. Um, but no, basically, he announced that uh, Sir Hayden would be double-heading the train with Sir Handel would be double-heading the train with Stuart, and everyone just like erupted with la uh, with uh, not applause, applause yeah. not laughter, not laughter. This is um his trailing wheels came off recently, and he was in a very sorry state, but yeah. hopefully he's all better. There they are. There they are. Yeah. That's the double header. Currently concealed a bit by bushes, but you can just make moment. out the engines. I think Sir Hayden is in front. Or Falcon Sir Han. No, wait. That's Stuart. I think that's Stuart in front, yeah. But yeah, they're both there. Chugging down the line. There's that whistle. Hey. Can just about make it out. All from the view of our accommodation. That's a gorgeous shot I've just got. I mean, that's probably it's a few hundred yards from us, but. To be able to hear it from all this way back. Yeah. It's just. I do have to get a good shot like this. Crosses the farm crossing. 
can zoom out now and just show you how far off they are. Shows you just how far we are from it, just by zooming out a little bit. Sunday wasn't as eventful as Saturday. We had tried to book the photo charter train for that day, but the site had crashed when Harry tried to book the tickets for it six months prior. But we decided to just hang around the railway anyway. We even saw a miniature railway close by. So we'll just get it go under the little tunnel which is right in the main here. Oh, watch it now. Look at that. Underneath. Comes out the other end. It is stalled. Stop. It is stalled right there. Look to coming out. To the track. And there it goes again. We rode the train to Bringlass on our way back to our accommodation, where a very nice signalman showed us the inside of an old signal box. Very kind of him. Oh, also this. <laughs> Fast forward throughout the rest of the day, and this happened. I fucking hate Welsh rain. <laughs> <laughs> so explain. Uh, we've been to we've been to have a lovely uh, dinner at some place called the Propaganda. Uh, that's two words, propaganda. Highly recommend it as a restaurant if you come to Tawin. Uh, we decided bravely to walk it back, which it wasn't so bad at first. Then on the last uh, quarter of it, it properly got God unzipped his pants and pissed all <laughs> over us, <laughs> knowing that he just had a full bottle of Pepsi. <laughs> the absolute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You watch him strike you down for that one. <laughs> well, I've, I've already had a great weekend, so... <laughs> well, like, what a way to round it out. On weekends, your weekend. What a way to round it out. Yeah, what a way to round this out. As well as uh, watching... Uh, the Magic Railroad. I, I personally, uh, th I know these guys haven't watched the film in uh, God knows how many years. Uh, well, it holds that place for me of being the very first film I ever saw in a cinema back in two thousand. Yeah, I have, I haven't watched this film since I did my review back in twenty, back in twenty twenty one. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, we're going to uh, sit down, most likely just take the piss out of it and uh, round of the trip off. The day after was when we were scheduled to leave Tawin. We paid one last short visit to the railway and we were off to catch our trains home. This weekend holiday was fantastic. Hanging out with fellow Thomas fan friends for the first time in person, in an absolutely stunning country, full of the friendliest people in this country, at an event that celebrated the works of the books and the show that made our childhood, surrounded by fans who share the same passion and enthusiasm. Some even big enough to inspire me in my own content. I mean this from the bottom of my heart, that I love being a part of this community, and going to this event with so many fans within that community, some even recognising me for stuff I did, even if my channel only started to grow at the start of this year, it was awesome. You're all awesome. It's thanks to people like you that I have truly found my calling on this platform. I really have. As for what's next, I'm only just getting started. So, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this, and I'll see you in a bit.